another example of else if uh, wanted to point out the fact that you can have as many of these else ifs as you need. So for instance, let's put another condition in here and say else if i is greater than 10. I want to say i is greater than 10. Okay, now when I run this, i is equal to 10, which isn't going to print anything because it's not equal to 5, it's not less than 5, and it's not greater than 10. So let's change this to 11. And now when we run it, we see i is greater than 10 is printed. If we change this to, let's just say 0, we're going to see the first else if. Uh, I is less than 5 printed because it wasn't equal to 5, but it was less than 5. I didn't even check this. Uh, one thing you got to watch out for when you're doing this, though, is sometimes, um, since this is a fall-through type scenario, let's say you wanted to say if I is less than 0, it's an integer, so it can be positive or negative. And... Uh, let's say i is equal to 2. Uh, now when we run this, we're going to see that i is less than 5 printed, but this didn't print as we'd expect. Change this to a negative number, so now it's less than 0. Uh, when we run this, uh, the common mistake might be to be expecting this last print. Oh, I better fix that uh, print. Uh, because the condition here is if i is less than 0 and i is minus 1. However, when I run this, all you see that's printed is i is less than 5. And that's because this first else if uh, caught it, because it was less than 5. And once one of these uh, else ifs executes inside this chain, none of the rest will even be checked. So even though it was less than 0, because it was less than 5, uh, it wasn't checked to see if it was less than zero. So you got to watch out for that.